creative placemaking seems to come out of this context of making sure that art is at the table mm -hmm. and is part of the conversations from the very beginning. It's about how does the artist, their thinking, their process, their influence help influence the entire project and the entire group as it goes along. What I love about this community is the artists and the art community are, are on the same level and respected the same as our business leaders. It's a culture that we're trying to create here in Baraboo. I would love to have a community ceramic studio. Mm -hmm. And now I know of ways of looking into the local government to help support an initiative like that. Students got invaluable learning from conversations with mayors and city managers and artists and urban planners in their own communities. We use the arts as a platform to build community and wherever the arts are flourishing you will generally find that people and communities are thriving. The garden is kind of a space where people from different backgrounds who may have never been exposed to each other before or would have never met before can come and have a great time together. And so we describe what we do here it's not an artist retreat, but it's an immersion in the life of a working farm. We knew that other urban artists would find uh, living on the farm for short periods of time inspiring as we did. We want to do an art project where we take some of the vacant storefronts and we put art in this storefront. We've had so many awesome networking opportunities with so many different communities. In terms of community engagement, this is the hall for the city. So the high school musical happens here on our stage. Award ceremonies here, dance studios, church choirs and spring plays. That all happens here. People literally grew up on this stage. The fact that we could cover all that we did and I learned as much as I did, I think it really was a once in a lifetime opportunity. 